out here in space all alone on a huge cloud of interstellar dust, otherwise known as a nebula. from this nebula, the theory that describes the process of my creation is called the nebula theory. Mutual gravitation between the particles in my nebula pulls it into a ball that continues to shrink under the influence of gravity. star. spinning, flattening ball of gaseous particles on my way to becoming a star. As I shrink, my pressure and temperature rises, and when my temperature reaches 10 million kelvins, some of the hydrogen nuclei fuse to helium nuclei. This is called thermonuclear reaction. This ignition of nuclear fuels marks my change from a protostar to a star. I am now a star. I am a mass of gas and plasma held together by its own gravity that produces its own light through nu thermonuclear reaction. I live happily as a super giant star floating in space. And yes, I said super giant. That means when I die, my collapse will be catastrophic. On that dramatic note, since I am a super giant, I have a ton of mass. When I contract, more heat is generated than smaller stars. allows carbon nuclide to fuse. While synthesizing heavier elements such as neon and magnesium, all of this will halt my gravitational contraction until my car until all carbon is fused. Then my core will contract.
contract again to produce even higher temperatures along with the new fusion sequence that produces even heavier elements. These cycles repeat until the element iron is formed. The fusion of elements beyond iron requires an input of energy rather than a release. So with no release of energy from my iron core, I will start to collapse without rekindling and begin my final collapse. When my core density is so great that all the nuclei are compressed against one another, my collapse will momentarily come to a halt. Then I'll explode violently, hurling the elements I previously made into space. This stellar explosion is called a supernova. Time, the heavy elements beyond iron will be synthesized, producing elements such as silver, gold, and uranium. At least when I die, the universe will be a little bit richer. But for now, I'm just going to keep doing what I do best, give a little more warmth and light to the universe.